Hello, I'm Brian. Let's play some more Game of Thrones. I'm going to show you how to get the Am I Not Merciful achievement. This will be in Chapter 8 after you've uh, taken the Gold Cloak outfit and broken into where their little headquarters are. You'll have an opportunity to go downstairs to, spoiler alert, look for your brother's body. So lie your way past and say that you want to see the prisoner so you can place a wager on how long he'll live and you'll discover your brother's body. He is dead. So at this point, you'll have to confront his killer, who is in the cell, and he's the guy they're placing wagers on. So you may catch some shit from the guard here, because he does not want to let anyone pass. He's afraid you'll kill him, and he'll lose the bet. So I got kind of bored at this point, so I just decided to kill him too. But you can talk your way out of it. Just a heads up. And if you choose to fight him, he'll call some help to his side. But neither one of them is that tough, so... Yeah, if you're like me and you're bored and you want some additional experience, just kick his ass. So once you get his keys, go into the cell and you'll discover Oren, who's the guy that actually killed your brother. But after you talk to him and try to choose options that aren't too harsh and definitely don't kill him, um, you'll discover that he was actually being manipulated by Valar, which is your half-brother that you do not like. So you tell him that you may spare his life if he can find some proof that it's true. So head back upstairs and talk to the first guard, Justin, and he'll tell you that the main commander went to the Red Keep. You can use that to lie past the guard that guards his office. So once you uh, get past him, head upstairs, search his office, and you'll find a letter signed by Valar that actually gave permission for what happened so you'll know it's actually true so Orin wasn't necessarily the bad guy he was just acting on orders so head back downstairs and talk to Orin again and tell him that you'll free him that you're not going to kill him and he'll be quite grateful and you'll have to head back up stairs again and this time you will be stopped by the guard that watches over the cell what's all this commotion? cells and, and what is this criminal doing? you can try to lie your way past him. I tried to, but he didn't fall for it. So don't choose the options that I did. I, I left it going to here this in normal speed, so you can see exactly what, what I chose. I'm the one in charge of these dungeons. But yeah, he didn't but fall for it. I so I had to fight it. everyone on my way back out. So Maybe if you want to lie and make it quick, it you can necessary. find a way to do so. It but you can also get a lot of experience from this too. But you'll have to be careful because Oren doesn't have any armor or anything. So. Definitely don't let them kill him. I pray that R'hllor will welcome you with kindness. Rest in peace. He does have a useful attack, though, called Deterring Strike. And it's it does damage within a radius, so it hits everyone near him. And it also distracts them from hitting him, so they'll actually attack Alistar. So if he gets in trouble, or you just want to make sure that he doesn't get hit, you can use the Deterring Strike to make sure of that. So fight your way back out. And like I said, there will be a bunch of guys, but I'm just playing on Squire difficulty right now. I lowered it for this. And if you get stuck on an achievement that you want to get, just create a save point right before it. Lower the difficulty to Squire, and then beat it on Squire. And that'll make it uh, easy for you, and you can reload it if you're playing on a higher difficulty. But once you get outside, he'll thank you and say that someday he'll repay the favor. And then you'll get your achievement for helping him escape and live. And that's all you have to do. So if that helped you out, be sure to like, comment if you have any questions, and subscribe for more Game of Thrones videos. Thanks, guys.